Street, did you? It couldn't have been there more than ten minutes. Ah, uh, luck. It just happened to come to the eye of one of our eagle young constables, whose dedication to stamping out the crime wave knows no bounds. He was on the ball, I'll grant you that. I was only in the post office round the corner. Oh, he's mustered. Here, don't forget to sign your driving license. Good job he didn't see that. He'd have had you in the tower. Thank you. I will be summoned then. There's nothing more certain. Oh. <laughs> My word, Simster. You had a bit of a bean feast in Walthall Street yesterday afternoon, didn't you? Just doing my duty, Sergeant. What's you after? The OBE. They've been trooping in all morning producing their driving licenses. To serve you right, they come up in court on your day off. You've been in out of that witness box like a whippet. <laughs> yes. Ah! <laughs> uh, before we go any further, please ignore the sign. I'm off duty. I'm glad you told me. I thought for a minute you'd overshot your crossing. <laughs> no, it's just that I dare not let it lose it out of my sight. You know, I've already lost two. Well, what do you want me to do? Form a posse? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just put it over here for one moment. Just as long as I don't go wandering off without it, some of those children get very playful. And it's my only means of self-defense. <laughs> well, come on, come on. Tell me what it's all about. Well, you see, I stand at the pedestrian crossing with my pole. The children come out of school. I go into the middle of the crossing. You no, know, you don't have to go through all that. I don't know what you are. You're a lollipop man. No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. I'm standing in for Mr. Burlington. Poor man, he's got a bunny on, on his foot. That's why the hat's too big. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Can we get to the point? Yes, most certainly. Is it good news? Is what good news? Whatever it is you're going to tell me. <laughs> Does this conversation lead anywhere? Well, I hope so. Mind you, I think I know what's happened. The penny has not dropped. If I said the words mobile policeman, would that uh, ring a bell? Mobile policeman? Now you've got it. I've got it? Uh, splendid. <laughs> now the point is, is it good news? You keep saying it's good news. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have I got the job? Oh. Uh, oh, the job? Yes. You've applied for a job as a mobile policeman. <laughs> yes, I know I have. Isn't that why you wanted me? <laughs> Is that why you wanted me to come round here and show you my uh, driving license? When did we ask you to do that? Yesterday afternoon. You put a little note under the windscreen wiper of my car. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes. I think we've struck oil. Was your car in Walthall Street? Yes. And because we asked to see your driving license, you naturally thought it was something to do with getting a job in the mobile police. But of course you don't want me driving around in a squat car without a license. <laughs> the police are very strict about that sort of thing. Constable <laughs> <laughs> Simster! Who? I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. Delighted. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Me, uh, come here, Simster. The gentleman would like to show you his driving license. Walthall Street? Walthall Street. Walthall Street. Right, sir. Do you think I might see it? Yes, yeah, see, it's just out of here. Turn left. And it... <laughs> You've heard nothing yet. <laughs> I want to see your driving license. And you shall see. Here it is. Now, according to this, I'm not allowed to drive a trolley bus or a steamroller. Fortunately, <laughs> I bought a motor car. Oh, I see you've had an endorsement. Uh, have I? No, no, I beg your pardon. That's a recipe for treacle toffee. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. Oh, aren't you? Oh, well, I won't make any more. <laughs> Keep going, Simster. You're doing fine. <laughs> I see that this license expired on the 28th of October, 1958. Ah, well, that's because you're a policeman. You know where to look. He spotted it straight away. <laughs> well, it's run out, hasn't it? Well, well of course, it's more or less inevitable. They only, well, they only lasted a year in those days. But what have you brought it in for? I wanted you to see how long I had been at the wheel. After all, if you're going to let somebody drive around in a police car, you don't want a beginner. Watch it, Simster. This is a tricky part. You get through this, you know. Uh, look, sir, let's, uh, let's stick to the facts, mm. shall we? Now, you won't be driving round in one of our police cars, will you? Oh, uh, you mean you expect people to provide their own? <laughs> of course, they 
provide their own. Well, I never knew that. I didn't get that impression watching Z cars, did you, Sergeant? Patrick, how do you get through to this Look, chap? son, don't expect me to get you out of it. You pinched him, you get him dealt with. I don't know what he's <laughs> talking about. You should have thought that before you slapped the ticket on his windscreen. Yes, but he... Just, 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 just can I help? Shall I explain about Mr. Burlington's bunny? No! Oh. <laughs> get back in there and do something useful. Brew up. <laughs> now, have you got an up-to-date driving license? <laughs> yes, I have. Where is it? It's in the glove compartment of my car. And where's your car? In, in Walthall Street. Street. <laughs> well, will you go and get it? The car? The, the driving car. license. <laughs> would, you, would you be kind enough to keep an eye, keep an eye, eye on my pole for me? Look, if you can promise me we can clear this matter up without any more nonsense, I'll willingly mount a guard on it. <laughs> Better take it with me. You can't be too careful. <laughs> Come in a minute, will you? All oh, right, no, sir. Come to the tin, sir! Give me a chance, sir. The kettle's not boiling. Never mind about the kettle. Keep an eye on this desk for a minute. I'm going in to see the inspector. It's not about me, is it? Not yet. <laughs> ah, Frank. Gotcha. Thanks, sir. Do you remember that memo I sent to headquarters about getting some traffic wardens? Oh, yes. Well, they've agreed it. Smash it, and that'll ease the load a bit. Yes. The important thing is we'll be able to stop using trained policemen for uh, parking offences. Apart from anything else, they spend one day on the streets and the rest of the week on their backsides doing their paperwork and brewing tea. Just what I've been telling Simster all morning, that kettle's never off. You see the snag? They've agreed we can have eight wardens, provided we can find them ourselves. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, they've sent these recruiting posters. Find a few shop windows, get the boys in. And if any of the lads have got uncles or anyone keen, wheel them in to see me. Right, sir. It's as good as done. Oh, uh, I was just thinking, what about women? They'll have to find their own. <laughs> <laughs> just a thought. Oh, and Frank? Yes, sir? When he's brewed up, I'll have a cup. <laughs> I've sugared. Thanks. Take the inspector a cup, will you? I only made two cups. Well, take him yours. Ah, close to all. <laughs> Sergeant, I have the most dreadful news for you. No driving license. No car. <laughs> no car? No car. It's been stolen. I saw it win my own eyes. Two men drove off in it. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. I ran after them. And what's worse, I've lost my pole. <laughs> Did you manage to get a good look at the two men? Yeah, now, you are never going to believe this. They were disguised in police uniform. <laughs> Can you describe them? Navy blue with silver buttons. <laughs> Not unlike the one you're wearing now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Constable, where are they operating from the car pound this morning? Gig Lane and Waltho Street. I thought so. <laughs> now, you're certain that these two men were dressed as policemen? Oh, yeah, well, I'm definite, yes. Well, I've got news for you. They were policemen. How embarrassing. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to hush it up? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, he's not going to give the force a very good name. What's he going to look like if this sort of thing gets in the newspapers? Listen, these two policemen were not stealing your car. They were driving it away. Ah, that's a good idea. Yeah, what a wonderful story. Let's stick to that one. Yes, they were policemen doing their job. In fact, when you think about it, it's quite feasible. Not only is it feasible, it's a fact. Say no more, Sergeant. You've convinced me. One small point. What about my car? It'll be waiting for you at the car pound. Ah, and what about those poor policemen? They'll drive it there. And what's more, there'll be a 40 shilling fine. Well, they can't grumble at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it hadn't been for you, they would have lost their jobs. Which reminds me, have you come to any decision about mine? Look, mate, one way or another, I've had my fair share of you today. If I go and find what's happened to your application with the mobile police, will you promise me to go home? <laughs> I can't do that, Sergeant. I'd do it on the crossing at a quarter to twelve. That's even better if you lie down in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'll go make some inquiries. Certainly. Yes, could I help you? Oh, thank you very much. I'm inquiring about the job. Well, in actual fact, is the sergeant's got to make some inquiries for him. Oh, good. He's making more progress than I thought. Look, uh, I'm Inspector Wallace. Ah, how do you do? My name is Harry Worth. Well, come into my office, Mr. Worth, and, and we'll talk about it. Yes, certainly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 
and when would you be free to start with? Well, I'll just have a look in my diary now. Let me see. If I could cancel a dental appointment a week next Friday, yes. I could start in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Good. Now, the position is this. Mm -hmm. We are looking for eight men who are diligent, observant, with a keen sense of public duty. Uh, well, I'd better make a note. Tell me, will they be armed? <laughs> will who be armed? Uh, these eight men that you're looking for. <laughs> have notebooks and ballpoint pens. It's just a hunch, but is there a possibility, Inspector, that these men could be expert forgers? I don't follow you. Well, it's just an idea I've got. You see, the question we have got to ask ourselves, Inspector, is why are these men carrying notebooks and ballpoint pens? Why? <laughs> There's no mystery about that. They'll be using them to write down the registration numbers of motor vehicles. <laughs> Surely it's staring us in the face. Don't you see? It's a syndicate of car thieves. <laughs> Mr. Wirth, I find your enthusiasm for police work very touching, but uh, would you mind calming down and answering some questions? <laughs> I must learn to walk before I can run. Excellent strategy. Yes. Now, <coughs> have you got a rough idea of what the job entails? Well, yes, I think so. We cruise around looking, keeping our eyes open for anything suspicious. Somebody dials 999, we get the message over the radio. We'll go, we'll go, foot our down. <laughs> Every man for himself. <laughs> well, the inspector, if we if we do go through the traffic lights at red, what happens if we stop by a policeman? <laughs> well, what you have described amounts to the popular conception of the flying squad. Yeah, well, I thought I wasn't far out. <laughs> well, why would you suppose that a traffic warden fulfills the same sort of duty? <laughs> it's a trick question, isn't it? No, it isn't. Just as well, I can't answer it. <laughs> Just a minute, Mr. Worth. I, I think we might have caught up with each other. Mm -hmm. Are you under the impression that we're offering you a job as a mobile policeman? Mm. Yes. Aren't you? No. Incredible. It's a wonder we didn't get confused. <laughs> One of us did. Ah. However, let me try to make the position clear. I am recruiting eight traffic wardens. Now it's uh, nothing like the dull job it might seem. No, on the contrary, I should imagine it's quite fascinating. I mean, you'll be interviewing people, weighing up their personal qualities. <sighs> Mr. Worth, I am not bothered about my own job. You're not? No. Uh. I'm saying that a traffic warden can follow a very interesting vocation. Yes. And the certain knowledge that he's playing an important part in the life of the community. Uh, though wages are quite good, considering, and the hours are very reasonable. So, uh, what do you think? Well, I must say, you do make it sound very attractive. But if you take my advice, Inspector, stick to the job you have got. <laughs> I intend to make one last effort to put my point across to you. Would you be prepared to take the job of traffic warden? <laughs> me? I do believe I've done it. <laughs> you want me to become a traffic warden? Well, it's a good life, holidays with pay. <laughs> Not all the time, surely. Perhaps you'd like to think it over. Well, I would rather, because it is a rather important step to take. Uh, is the job pensionable? It is, after the first 12 months. That's absolutely marvellous. With most jobs, you have to wait till you're 65. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, on reflection, perhaps the job of traffic warden is not really suited to your um, particular aptitude. You see, you're, you're on your feet all day, out in all weather. No, no, no. I'm not afraid of the challenge. It's just, just not quite what I had in mind. After all, traffic warden, <laughs> it's better than walking the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, you're not the first to crack that one. No, but you can't help laughing. <laughs> Although I must say, you're making a very good effort. <laughs> I'm very grateful to you for your offer. May I, Inspector? May I just think it over? Do that by all means. Yes. There's no rush. Think about it for as long as you like, yes. and uh, let me know your decision in due course. Inspector, that is very kind of you. Traffic warden. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon? If you'll excuse me... Oh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> you see, I, uh, I am rather busy. Yes, I understand. By the way, if the telephone rings, do you wish me to take messages? <laughs> now, don't 
try and mix me up, Simster. That's Gig Lane, that's Walthall Street, Park Road and Lowther Avenue runs off here. I'm telling you, Sergeant, that's Whiteway Drive. It doesn't become Lowther Avenue until it gets to the other side of Gig Lane. If you're expecting those traffic wardens to find Lowther Avenue from this end, they're going to finish up at Wolverhampton. Simster, I know this area like the back of my hand. Yes, sir. Never mind yet, Sarge. I'm getting too much lip from you these days. Shall I wheel them in? Yes, I'm dying to see what sort of a catch we've landed. <laughs> have you in here, please? In about 20 minutes, Sarge. Yes. Don't forget to warm the pot. My word. I'll bet there's a wave of terror sweeping through the underworld this morning. <laughs> I've seen your face before, haven't I? Weren't you in the station a couple of days back? Uh, don't you remember, Sergeant? You said you wouldn't be able to forget me. Well, how do you like that for bad luck? I just managed it. <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, welcome to Peyton Place. You'll be delighted to know that you're in my charge. So if there's anything you want, see me, and I'll tell you why you can't have it. <laughs> However, I see no reason why you can't all get the house on fire, provided you're all masochists. You've got a job to do, the faint-hearted can leave now. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh, very funny. Anything you want, anything you want, see me. And I'll tell you why you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> this, gentlemen, this is your territory. This is where your deeds of heroism will be written in the dust. Now then, anybody see anything wrong with this street map? Uh, yes, son. You've got Lowther Avenue where you should have White Way Drive. Oh, Mark. What's your name? Ballot, Sergeant. Who else spotted it? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Sergeant, which way is north? <laughs> Where did you want to get to? I wasn't going anywhere. I just thought that if north was running from left to right, you might be far better turning the blackboard on its side. <laughs> Can we pretend you didn't bring that one up? Just as you wish, Sergeant. Or if you prefer, Let's pretend that North runs from top to bottom and turn the blackboard upside down, like that. Listen, brother, for all I care, you can pretend east is west and stand on your head, but just pay attention. Now, these are your street responsibilities. Cross Reese and Jervis will take Gig Lane up to the corner of Walthall Street. Argreave, Sykes and Tompkins will take Park Road and Whiteway Drive. Barrett and Worth, you'll take Walthall Street and Widder Lane as far as Park Road. Any questions? Yes, sir. Which way south? <laughs> Are you planning to go around with a compass or something? No, I just tried to imagine myself walking up Walthall Lane and turning left, you see. That would mean turning right on your map into Widow Lane. That means I would be facing that wall. But if the sun sets over there, which it does, that means Widow Lane is up there, but it isn't. It's behind me. <laughs> and bear in mind, this is only theory. I shudder to think what's going to happen when we let you wander onto the streets. Listen, Marco Polo, if you get lost, ask a policeman. And don't blame me if he gives you the breathalyzer test. <laughs> now then, we'll have a dummy run. We'll pretend that you've been walking round, writing out your parking tickets, and suddenly you'll come face to face with an extremely difficult customer, which for the purpose of this exercise will be me. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, you. Uh, nothing wrong, is there? You've just stuck a ticket on my car. Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was yours. It's not mine! We're acting, remember? Oh, I bet. If ever you do stick a ticket on my car, do yourself a favor. Get yourself under a bus. <laughs> now then, gentlemen, whilst we're on this point, hope you all realize that once you made a ticket out, that's it. That's it. It could be Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton. You still can't tear it up. Now then, come on, let's get back to this. You've done your duty, and I'm coming back to my car, right? Right. Here, what's this? It's a blackboard. It's a car! <laughs> What's the idea of sticking a ticket on my car? I don't know. You don't know what you're sticking on for if you don't know. Just a minute, Sergeant. Are we still acting because we are? I don't know why I did it. If we're not acting, I can't even remember doing it. <laughs> Look, that is my car. Yeah. You have just stuck a ticket on it. We're going to do this little exercise if we're here all night. All right, then hurry up. I don't want to book you for parking without lights. So... <laughs> That's 
Come on, Larky. Well, now I've got you in the mood. What's this ticket? It's the one I've stuck on your car. You stuck it to get on my car? Yes, it's but my job, you see. That's ridiculous. My car's doing no harm. I mean, where's the sign that says no parking? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, you've got me there. <laughs> you've got it in for me, haven't you? No. You waited around that corner till I got out, then you sneaked up and stuck it on my window. No, no, I. You're I... a menace. That's what you are. No. I'm going to report you for victimisation. Now, don't get so excited. What's the good of quarrelling over a little piece of paper? Tear it up. Life's too short. <laughs> Give me your duster. I'll give you windows to wipe. Yeah. Oh, you do your best. Barrett, come up here. Are you ready? Uh, yes, Sergeant. Here, here, what's this? What's it look like? It looks like a parking ticket. So it should, that's it, what it is. You can't pinch me for parking here. Do you want a bet? But that's outrageous. I'll write to my member of parliament. <laughs> when you do, give him my love. You'll not get away with this. What's your number? I'll write to your superior. Pipe down, you clumsy looking streak of misery. How dare you? Do you think I've got to stand here all day listening to your claptrap? I've done you. Do you understand? I've done you. If you come back tomorrow, I'll do you again. So get lost. <laughs> Before you say anything, let me plead for this man. <laughs> he got carried away. He didn't know what he was doing. He just got excited. He's with me. knew what it is. Please, I beg of you, give him another chance. That was excellent. I happen to know this man as a wife and three children. It was what? First class. That was an object lesson in how to deal with the obstreperous customer. I hope you all noticed the tone of authority just, and the way... Just a moment, uh, Sergeant, are you trying to tell me you didn't mind those names Mr. Barrett called you? It was music to my ears. Well, there you are, gentlemen. If you want to get on, that's the way to go about it. Now, before we send you outside into the cruel world of reality, has anybody got any questions? Yes, I have, you long streak of misery. Hey, I think... <laughs> don't, stop, stop, don't have voice to me now. I want a straight answer to a straight question. If I'm walking up Walthall Street with a sub... <laughs> Yes, I see. So what you're saying, Len, is that the VIP car will park in Walter Street at 9.40 for about 10 minutes. Uh, you'll provide the escort. You just want us to keep a space for him. Right. By the way, Len, any idea who the VIP is? Really? Does he come all this way for his tobacco? <laughs> see. Well, there's no problem. I'll get out one of our portable no-parking signs and I'll pop around myself and keep an eye on things. Cheers, Len. Cup of tea, sir, with the sergeant's compliments. Thank you, George.
Wait, say something. I can't explain it, sir. Can't explain? Well, you better try. The facts are simple enough. There's the evidence. I've been booked for parking. Yeah. I'm going to weep. You probably will. <laughs> what sort of laughing stock do you think this is going to make me at headquarters? All that fuss and bother getting permission to use traffic wardens, and the very first ticket they make out is mine. <laughs> there must be something we can do about it, sir. You know very well, Sergeant, there's nothing we can do about it. It's easier getting out of Pentonville Bill than getting out of one of these things. <laughs> Just let me borrow this a minute, sir. Now, don't do anything stupid, and don't try to intimidate that traffic warden. He was only doing his duty. Confound him. Just give me five minutes, sir. Well, you got him. He's in the duty room. Take him. <laughs> ah, Sergeant, while I've got you on your own. Now tell me, if a motorist parks his car on a double yellow line, facing the wrong way down a one-way street, is it a valid excuse to say he was late for work? No, it's not. Oh. Would you give me five minutes while I go and move it? There you are. I want to talk to you. Oh. Now listen, you... you mind if I come round there? Not at all, Sergeant. Come on. There you are. Now listen, you get round the other side. <laughs> listen, you do know but once you made a parking to get out, it sets in motion a process that can't be stopped till it reaches the magistrate's court. Yes, do, oh, don't tell me somebody's blundered. I'm afraid they have. Oh, dear me. Whose car was it? The inspector's. Oh, oh, that's not fair. After all, it's one of us. Have you any idea who did it? Yes, you did. <laughs> no, that couldn't possibly have been me. I only made two tickets out all morning. Well, one of them is the inspector's. There's a ticket. Yes. If you'll check it with a carbon copy in your pad, I think you'll find it matches. No, I'm sure you're wrong, sir. <laughs> you're quite right. <laughs> the last one I made out, sir. Now, yes. I'm warning you, if you put that original back over the copy in the pad with the carbon in between, and strike two lines through with the words incorrect details, please see next ticket. If you so much as dare to do that, just to get the inspector off the hook, I'm warning you now, I probably won't even look at you till I get over the shock of it. Sergeant, uh, <clears throat> Yes? Isn't there anything we can do? <laughs> Listen, do I have to spell it out for you? I've just told you what not to do, but so long as I don't actually see you doing it, there's no harm done. Ah! Now, I'm going to turn my back for 30 seconds. Yes. There's a pin. Yes. Pin the original to the copy and get right in. Yes, certainly. Sergeant. What is it now? Would you make that 45 seconds? Oh, for Pete's sake, get a move on. Sergeant, I've done that. You're at all interested. I didn't hear the word you said. I beg your pardon? I didn't hear the word you said. I said I've done Never that. Never mind what you said. Yes. Maybe you'd like to have a look I at it. I don't want to look at anything. I just want you to go as far away from me as your feet will carry you and twice as fast if you can manage it. Well, I just... Ah! All right. <laughs> Whittle then, please, Station Sergeant Woodruff. Yes, that's right. His car was in Walthall Street for about ten minutes this morning. Why, he's not complaining of the VIP treatment, is he? <laughs> don't say another word. I think I'm ahead of you. You! <laughs> You told me. Never mind what I told you. Look, you booked two cars this morning. What was the number of the second one? It was XBC 374. I don't believe it. <laughs> don't tell me it was Bobby Charlton. It was mine! <laughs> <laughs> well, before you turn your back, have you got another pin? No! <laughs>
Walthall Street, did you? It couldn't have been there more than ten minutes. Hard luck. It just happened to come to the eye of one of our evil young constables, whose dedication to stamping out the crime wave knows no bounds. He was on the ball, I'll grant you that. I was only in the post office round the corner. Oh, he's mustered. Here, don't forget to sign your driving license. Good job he didn't see that. He'd have had you in the tower. Thank you. I will be summoned then. There's nothing more certain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My word, Simster. You had a bit of a bean feast in Walthall Street yesterday afternoon, didn't you? Just doing my duty, Sergeant. What you after? The OBE. They've been trooping in all morning producing their driving licenses. To serve your eyes, they come up in court on your day off. You've been in that, that witness box like a whippet. <laughs> yes. Now, <laughs> uh, before we go any further, please ignore the sign. I'm off duty. I'm glad you told me. I thought for a minute you'd overshot your crossing. <laughs> no, it's just that I dare not let it lose it out of my sight. You know, I've already lost two. Well, what do you want me to do? Form a posse? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just put it over here for one moment. Just as long as I don't go wandering off without it, some of those children get very playful. And it's my only means of self-defense. Oh, well, come on, come on. Tell me what it's all about. Well, you see, I stand at the pedestrian crossing with my pole. The children come out of school. I go into the middle of the crossing. Look, you don't have to go through all that. I know what you are. You're a lollipop man. No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. I'm standing in for Mr. Burlington. Poor man, he's got a bunny on his foot. That's why the hat's do.